gamers welcome back to the channel in today's mlb the show video i'm going to be showing you guys how to use the anchor batting system and make yourself an overall better player in the game if you're new to the channel and you enjoy these tips methods and glitches make sure that you drop a thumbs up on the video hit the red subscribe button turn your notifications on that's three free things that you can do if you are new to the channel, if you are OG on the channel, go in the comment section and say MVP. Let's get into the breakdown. Let's go. If you want to complete every collection super, super fast, head over to my sponsor and use code FAT for 5% off your order. Super fast and reliable. All right. So the first thing is setting up your betting. Okay. So what I like to use is strike zone high. My in play offense is high. Okay, and then I'm using zone hitting interface. Now you can use any hit and view that you are more comfortable with. I like to use strike zone high. It seems like I have that extra second for the ball to get to me. And I have that extra second to decide if the pitch is outside or the pitch is too low. So strike zone high is gonna help me be able to see every pitch the best way possible. Now down here, you can have it set up any way that you want to. I like to use altitude, you can use diamonds, you can use circles, anything. PCI inner, I have basic. PCI outer, I have reverb. Now, PCI fade out, I don't have none because my main thing with getting better at hitting is being able to track the ball. We're gonna get into exactly what I'm talking about. Number one thing that I like to do is I like to push the anchor in and start at the bottom, right here at the bottom middle. The reason why is because last year I had a habit of dropping my PCI, clicking the PCI and making noise. After a while, I realized the PCI to get to this area is a very slow movement. You don't need a lot of movement to get to any one of these PCI anchor areas. You don't have to touch your controller or make a clicking sound at all, okay? That is too much. So another key thing that you are doing is watching the pitcher's tendencies on two strikes. Is he throwing you balls? Is he throwing you sinkers? Is he throwing you high pitches? Is he throwing you inside pitches? That's a very important tip that you need to be worried about, okay? So number one, you're gonna be taking pitches and trying to get the PCI as close to the ball as possible, okay? So I come in, I click the sticky, and I put my PCI anchor down. That's why I like to start with every batter. That's because I usually drop my PCI. If I'm already starting down, I don't have to go as far to get to these lower areas and to go up is not that far, okay? You don't have to drop your PCI up and slam it. All you wanna do to get up is just move it slow. It's gonna be a slow movement. I can touch all these PCI anchors just by moving my stick very, very slow. And then to get down by habit, you only have this much room to go, okay? So if you're starting your PCI up higher, you're gonna be in the habit of clicking your PCI down even though the ball is not gonna be right there. 90% of the pitches are in this little area right here. That's the crazy part. 90% of the pitches is in that area. Now, once he winds up, I like to slowly move my pitch up, okay? I will slowly start moving my PCI up slowly start moving my PCI up every time his leg raises. So leg raise, move up, and now I'm able to get the middle or middle outside or middle inside pitches very easy, okay? This is my zone I wanna swing at. So I'm going up, boom, that's low. That's what I'm saying. By this view, you can read the balls. Leg goes up, I go up, boom, I wait on the ball. Now we get a nice hit. Now, my timing was not perfect, so we're gonna move up slowly. Boom, we're gonna wait on that pitch. You see that it went up. Once it goes out of his hand and it goes up, that is usually your off speed. Off speed, you gotta wait a little bit more. Boom, wait on the pitch. Another perfect, perfect. Here is down, I'm moving up slow. Boom, that's straight through the middle. 
that is the velocity that you want to come off of your bat, okay? Now, remember, when you have a base runner, what they are going to try to do is pitch you more low pitches so your PCI can be over the top of it, okay? Another reason why I like to start my anchor at the bottom is because if you have a base runner, they are going to force more pitches low in the zone, okay? So if you are known for dropping your PCI down, it's going to help you out for them important situations to help with double plays, okay? So if you are already down, you won't drop your PCI too much more, and that will help you get under the ball. Instead of getting over the top of it, you will get under the ball, and then you have a chance for it to go in the air, okay? So there's a low pitch right there. You're going to hit over the top of that. It's going to be a ground out, a double play. But if you are already low, you're going to have a chance to pop it up in the air. And I would rather them catch it for one out than throw me out for a ground double play and then lose two batters at the same time. So we're going to slowly move up. We're going to be able to see them pitches. When he lifts his leg, my eyes are on his arm. Lift his leg. I'm watching his arm. And when the ball drops at his peak, whether it's a slider, sinker, cutter anything as the ball drops that's when i want to swing okay so you watching the pitch you're slowly moving up move up watching the pitch and as it drop you're gonna see the pitch is coming in and when the pitch drop that's when i want to swing so number one you want to start your anchor down low if you are known for jamming down low super fast number two you want to take a few pitches fill out your pitcher's tendency on one strike, is he coming with a fastball or off speed? On the second strike, is he going back off speed, doubling up pitches, or is he throwing balls to make you try to chase a pitch? Find out the best view so you can have the best look at all pitch combos. PCI anchor down, track the ball, boom. That one flies up in the air, that's some type of off speed. If it comes out of his hand in the air, that's some type of off speed. As you can see, it pops up first. Watch his arm. Watch his arm. Boom. You see, it pops up first, a little bit higher than his head. That is an off speed. Whether it's a circle change, a slider, even the sinker pops up a little bit. Now, when he throws a fastball, it's going to go straight out of his hand, equal to his hat brim. Okay? So, even the sinker has a little bit of pop. As you can see, them sinkers pop up very little, and then the sliders and stuff go up a little more so that's a circle change that one went up a little more at an arch so once you get to a pitcher and you see his sequences you're going to also be able to tell pitches out of his hand the sinker barely over his hat the circle changes over his hat a little more and then the fastball will be straight angle from his hat so his leg goes up we're going up that one right there sits in the air we waited on it okay so now you know once the pop happens that's a circle change you have to sit back and wait when it goes straight down like that at an angle that's a four seam fastball runner on first okay so now we're going to set it up like a team practice we're going to do it like a team practice Repeat yes. So now we trying to practice on timing the ball and getting the runner around, okay? So now we're gonna be coming up when he lift his leg, okay? We don't want that pitch. We take the sinker, okay? You can see the movement. You watching his brim, okay? So here we go. We taking the pitch. We lift his leg. I start slowly going up. Boom, that one had a pop to it. That's another off speed. You check his pitches. He got a sinker, a slider, a circle change, a curveball. So all his pitches but the four seam is going to go up first. So you are able to read the pitches easier. Boom, there's a slider. You've seen it go up first. All you have to do is put the bet on the ball. So now we are ready for everything. So here we go. Boom, straight through the gap. Easy base hit. Okay, so we already got the pitches down to a sequence. We're going to put our PCI down. All right, so here we go right here. He walked that better right there. Here we go with a new approach. We're going to take that first pitch. We're going to watch the brim. That goes over his head. That's a slider. This is the approach you want. Don't try not to swing. Try not to swing at unnecessary stuff. Leg up, PCI up, boom. There's a circle change, very slow. A little bit over his brim, drops down here in the corner. Okay, so one and one count. You haven't got the pitch that you wanted yet, but you ready. Up a little bit. Wait on the ball. Perfect, perfect. Now we get that 89 speed all the way around to third, and we're going to have that 50 speed get a double out of the play. Patient, you ready 
you waited for the pitch that you wanted in your zone. Okay, so here we go right here. Uh, sinker to the outside. That's usually something that people would swing at, but with this view, you can see the ball way better. So one, zero, count, and we slowly going up. Uh, to the outside, okay? So if they want to walk you and tire their best pitcher out, it works in your favor. So we got a chance to take a strike right here. Okay, so another off-speed low trying to make you hit a ground ball. We don't want that pitch right there. He got to eventually give you a pitch that you want. So be ready. Slowly move the PCI up. Boom. We come back and hit that. We get that runner in, and he throws the guy out at first, but we move the runner. That was a bad swing. I swung early. Okay, slider, off-speed, fastball. You got to be ready. So we're going to slowly move up. That one's in the air. We want to hit it as it comes down. So we get that slider to the outside. Not a perfect, perfect, but we got a chance to move that 50 speed guy from first base all the way home. This is your power zone. The three dots at the top and then right here without moving. Okay, so anything that falls right there like that circle change is going to be your best hitting chances. So once his leg lifts, it's a timing thing. Boom, up in the air. That's a nice swing for a home run. If you're looking for a super, super fun and easy way to earn extra money, follow me on Underdog Fantasy and use code FATDOLLARS for a deposit bonus up to 100 bucks. All you gotta do is come in here, make $1 bets, $2 bets, $3 bets, it don't matter. Choose your players, come over to the right, put the amount in, $1 bet, you have a chance to win $3 back. I will be giving you guys free picks. Follow me on my Twitter and I will give you a Discord link and let's have some fun.